class of 2021, um, I just want to say how proud I am of all of you guys, how proud I am of your perseverance. These, this past year and a half has not been easy for you. And to see you guys shine and thrive throughout this year has been something of an inspiration to me. So um, I pray that you guys I pray that you guys continue to strive, continue to per, um, persevere, and continue to become men and women of, of vision and purpose. God bless you all. Peace. Hi, class of 2021. I just wanted to say congratulations and good luck. Congratulations to you seniors. We're going to miss you. And I want to wish you all the best in college and your future. Yo, hello, class of 2021. This year, as of this year, I've been teaching for 50 years, and you are at least in the top 48 of all the classes I've ever taught. Seriously, you guys were creative, you were fun, you were enthusiastic, and I just regret that we didn't have the last three months together. I enjoyed the year completely, I will miss you, Remember, in the words of John Keating, make your lives extraordinary. I love you. See you at the prom. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We're sorry we really didn't get to know you this year. Um, I hope once this whole pandemic is over that you'll come back and visit us and we can all get to know one another. Once again, good luck in college class of 2021. Class of 2021, I wish you all the best. Mucha suerte. I just want to say congratulations to the class of 21 and boy did we miss being with you guys in person. I wish you the best of success in your college or job careers in the future and you will be missed even though we didn't get to spend quality time together. Um, in person. I remember many of you from uh, my classes in freshman and sophomore year. And again, I missed being with you um, for your last year here at Spelman. Best of luck. Class of 2021, I wish you moles of happiness and leaders of success. You are the best. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Wishing you all the best in your future endeavors. Hope to see you all soon. Miss you and love you. Congratulations to our seniors, class of 2021. I am so proud of you. You guys have come a long way. You've overcome all the challenges that this pandemic has brought to you. Um, the sky's the limit. And just keep reaching for the stars. Congratulations, felicidades, bravissimi. One. Good morning, Spellman. It's Tuesday, May 18th, 2021, day two, courts B and C. On today's show, we take a look at some of the monologue performances in Mrs. Smith's freshman English class. Stephanie Brown has your pilot sports. And Candace Hiddell has your weekday forecast. I'm Carla Joseph. And I'm Kennedy Jones. We're your pilots, and this is your morning flight. Are you ready to take flight? The student body presidential election is in full swing as the candidates are reaching out to the school and making their case for why they should be president and vice president of the student body for 2021 to 2022. The two teams will debate this Wednesday and CS1 will carry the event here on our channel. Voting will take place next week via online poll you will find on your Chromebook. We originally planned to announce our new morning flight teams with this episode, but we are still going over the entries and are making our decisions. Stay tuned as we will introduce the new team shortly as they pick up the election coverage and bring you the results of the election day here, on, here at Spelman. Recently, Mrs. Smith had her students present individual drama monologues, all done virtually. The class did a phenomenal job considering the circumstances, and here are some examples of their work. Puppet. Why so? 
I sadly go to game. Now I perceive that she has made compare between our statues. She has urged her height. And with her personage, her tall personage, she has won him over with her height. How low am I, thou painted maypole? Speak. How low am I? I am not yet thorough that my nails reach into thine eyes. These are the forgeries of Zion, and never since the middle summer spring, may we in hell, jail, forest, or meat. But with thy back, thou hast disturbed our sport, and fell over the temperature we see the seasons also. The spring, the summer, the chilly autumn, angry winter, change. And this same poverty of evil comes from our debate, from our dissension, how happy some or others can be through Athens I am thought as fair as she but what of that Demetrius thinks not so I will go and tell him of fair Hermia's flight then to the wood will he tomorrow night pursue her and for this intelligence if I have things, it is a dear expense. But Hermine mean I to enrich my pain, to have his sight thither and back again. I know a bank where the wild thon blows, where ox lips and naughty violet grows. There sleeps Titania some time of the night, lulled in these flowers with dances in the light. There the snake throws her enameled skin, weed wide enough to wrap a fairy in. With the juice of this, I'll streak her eyes and make her full of hateful fantasies. If we shadows have offended, think but this, all is mended, that you have but slumbered here, while these visions did appear, and this weak and idled them, no more yielding but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend, if you pardon, we will mend, else the puck a liar call, so good night. Unto you all, give me your hand if we be friends, and the robin shall restore amends. Masters, you ought to consider with yourself to bring in God shield us. A lion among ladies is a most dreadful thing. Nay, you must name his name, saying thus, or to the same defect, ladies or fair ladies, I would wish you or I would entreat you not to fear, not to tremble. I am not as though I am not a lion. I am a man just like any other man. And there indeed, let him tell them plainly that he is Snug the Joiner. Stop it. Why so? I... That way goes the game. Now I perceive that she hath made compare between our statures. She hath urged her height, and with her personage, her tall personage, her height forsooth she hath prevailed with him. How low am I, thou painted maple? Speak. How low am I? I am yet so low, but that my nails can reach onto thine eyes. I know a bank. Where the wild time blows, where ox lips and the nodding violet grows. There sleeps Titania, sometimes in the night, lulling these flowers with dances and delight. There the snake will throw her enameled skin, weed wide enough to wrap a fairy in. With the juice of this, I'll streak her eyes and make her full of hatred fantasies. Stephanie Brown is back with a look at recent pilot sports action.
I'm your sports analyst Stephanie Brown and this week our girls lacrosse team, baseball team, and softball team all had games so let's take a look at them. First, the girls lacrosse team played a tough game against Moore Catholic on Monday and won by a score of 4-5. to five. Ruby Rodriguez had three goals and Amory Figueroa and Genesis Alvarez had one goal each. The girls next game will be on Saturday the 22nd against St. Joseph Hill away. Next, the baseball team played against Fordham Prep and won by a score of 4-0. to zero. And finally, the girls softball team played against St. Catharines and sadly lost. On this last episode of Morning Flight for the Year, I'd like to acknowledge all the hard work put in by coaches, staff, and athletes to allow both fall and spring sports to have a season this year. From practicing social distancing, wearing masks, having daily temperature checks, and daily sign-ins, Spelman has allowed to keep our athletes safe while playing. So I can happily say on behalf of all athletes, including myself, we are eternally grateful for everything Spelman has done to allow us to play this season. I'm Stephanie Brown, your sports analyst. Fly high, pilots. Thank you, Stephanie. Kendall Siddle has your weekday forecast for the last full week of school for the seniors. Well, the final week for seniors is looking to be a warm and sunny one. In fact, the clouds move in after we leave. Today through Wednesday are sunny skies with highs in the low 80s. The clouds start to roll in on Thursday and stick around on Friday, setting us up for a rainy weekend. I am a little sad that this will technically be my final week at Spelman and doing Cardinal Spelman 1. I've had many good memories with the friends I've made in class and other clubs as well. I am looking forward to the future, however, and my college experience. Back to you, Carla and Kennedy. Thank you, Candace, and that brings us to the end of the second season of Morning Flight. This year has been a difficult year for a lot of people, but it's always been great in doing CS1, and I'd like to thank Mr. Drew for giving me, well, and, and for Carla, for giving me and Carla the opportunity to do this. There you go. I don't know what to say on that. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Drew has, yeah, he's been kind of great, you know? <laughs> Okay, but no, but you know we're giving the public something, so we have to make you look good, don't we? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> Mr. Drew is like four more days. Four more days. <laughs> but anywho, oh, I did enjoy this year. I I I'm gonna miss CS one. I'm going to miss recording. I liked it very much. It was, it was a really good experience. I'm not crying. <laughs> oh. Well, I hope you made Anna and David proud. Because <laughs> it was a lot. And I hope the next people that um, do this <laughs> keep up the hard work. Because, as I said before, it is a lot. It's a lot of responsibility, but it's a lot of fun. And you meet new people. And I like that. Like, I like the family. No, yeah, I definitely wish we would have gotten to do this in person. So, not only, like, my stuff would have been on time then, and I wouldn't have been, like, two days late every time Mr. Drew asked for a recording. But, but no, it's definitely been great. And just getting to be closer with you because you know you're my boo and um definitely <laughs> definitely working with um mr drew and understanding his his mode of operations more no we said Anna and david but we didn't even say christina and oh. really but and i was not like oh they did so much they did so much they were so great I wasn't in CS one, but I'm sure you guys were great. And I think I think I started I started going to or like just being in the room at the end of like no, before the pandemic started. And it was nice. But like I wasn't in it. I was just being a trespasser. So you know, you guys had a great thing going there. It was a huge it was a huge family. Oh Mr. Drew, my school, the new school I'm going to, they have an entire they have a whole media room. Has like the prompter and everything on there. Like the big camera. 
And then you have a thing under your desk where you step your foot on it and then the words move. And she let me try it because I told her that she saw the CS1 thing because apparently they stalk you. And it's really weird to me. Like, why are you doing that? She was like, I saw your news thingy. You should try it out. And I was doing it on the thing and it was just so fun. Stay tuned as the new morning fight team will be along shortly to bring you the results of the student body election. Until then, I'm Carla Joseph. And I'm Kennedy Jones, Fly High Pilots. Another three, two, one into this. Yeah, this is you. Okay. <coughs> hey. 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 No. Yeah. Um three, two, one. Dun 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 Hey Hey Okay. Three, two, one. Three, two, one.